Hi, in this video we're going to show you a couple ways to disable the Windows Copilot in Windows. So if you've seen this little icon down here, that's to open up Windows Copilot, then you can start asking your questions and so on. But if you don't want that and you don't want to see it, of course you could go to the Windows Settings under Personalization, then Taskbar, and turn off the icon here. But if you want to get rid of it completely so it doesn't come back, there's a couple ways you could do it. So if you're on a professional version of Windows, you could use the Group Policy Editor, GP Edit. And then you want to go to User Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, and then look for Windows Copilot. So it's not configured by default. So if you enable this policy, it will disable it. So that's the thing you need to remember. You want to enable this policy. Running the GP Edit Force command doesn't seem to make it take effect right away, but you can reboot or you could restart uh, Windows Explorer. So if you go to Task Manager, then look for Windows Explorer. Your icon will look more like a folder, not like mine here. Restart it. Okay, see it killed my background, uh, which happens sometimes. So now you can see the icon's gone. And if we go to the settings, let me close it and go back in here. Personalization, taskbar, and now you can see it's gone from here as well. So now let's go ahead and put that back. Restart Explorer again. All right, so the next method we're going to show you involves a registry edit. So I have two registry files here. And I have them open in Notepad. So one is to enable Copilot and one is to disable Copilot. So if you disable, this is what it's going to do. So you know beforehand. And then if you change your mind, you could run the enable registry file to enable it again. All right, so I'll put a link in the description where you could download these. And then you just double click on disable. Run it. Say yes. Say yes. Okay. And then restart Explorer again or reboot. All right, now you can see the icons down from here. And if we go to the settings, personalization, taskbar, you can see it's gone from there as well. And if you change your mind, just enable it. Restart Explorer again, or reboot. Now you can see it's back. All right, so those are a couple of options you could use to remove Windows Copilot from your computer. So like I said, I'll put a link to these in the description so you could download them and then you could take it from there. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.